Hi, I'm Justin Ryder. I'm an assistant professor of pediatrics at the University of Minnesota Medical School. Severe obesity affects about 6% of the U.S. pediatric population. Uh, if we equate that to current census data, it's about 4.5 million youth uh, within the United States currently. Um, and with severe obesity comes a number of chronic health issues, and one of those being uh, difficulty with tasks of daily living as well as mobility. So the objectives of, of this study was to uh, look at the long-term effects of bariatric surgery in teenagers undergoing elective bariatric surgery. And really the focus of this study was to look at the effects on functional mobility, that would be the ability of an individual to walk 400 meters, the heart rate responses of those individuals before, during, and after the walk test, as well as uh, incidents of musculoskeletal pain during and after the 400-meter walk test. We used a large cohort of individuals from the Teen Longitudinal Assessment of Bariatric Surgery Study, or Teen Labs. Teen Labs is a multi-center across five sites in the U.S. Uh, it's a prospective observational longitudinal study following these individuals for up to 10 years. Teen Labs enrolled 242 individuals, and in this analysis we used a subset of 206 individuals who completed a standardized walking test. We followed these individuals at baseline at six months, one year, and two years post-surgery to look at the outcomes of the 400-meter walk test, along with heart rate responses before, during, and after that test, as well as incidents of musculoskeletal pain. The average age of the individuals in this study was about 17 years old, and we looked at two bariatric surgery procedures in particular. One is the Roux-en-Y gastric bypass, which was about 70% of the individuals, and the other one was a vertical sleeve gastrochectomy, which is about the other 30% of individuals. Of the 206 individuals that we studied in this analysis, what we observed was that after surgery, these individuals were able to complete a 400 meter walk test substantially faster, about 30 seconds faster at six months. And those effects were sustained at one year and two year post bariatric surgery. Musculoskeletal pain during the walk test itself was substantially reduced at all time points after bariatric surgery. We also measured heart rate using a heart rate monitor and observed that uh, not only was resting heart rate substantially reduced in these uh, individuals post-surgery, but that also their heart rate response was substantially reduced at all time points. We're going to continue to follow these individuals for up to 10 years. Currently, our mean follow-up is around six years, and really what we want to do is to well characterize the long-term benefits as well as risks of bariatric surgery in teenagers.